Guys, I have talked about scalloped fretboards many times in the past. Now, real quick for anybody who doesn't know, a scalloped fretboard is where the wood between the metal frets has been carved out to provide space for your fingers. So when you play the guitar, your fingers are touching the strings and they're not really touching the actual fretboard. This is really great for doing bends and just having a lot more control over the string. But of course, it does come with a few disadvantages, like you can press too hard, you can squeeze the strings too hard, and then the, the notes go out of tune. It's particularly easy to do when you're playing chords, but if you practice with a scalloped fretboard, you get used to it like you do anything else. And for me, I like the extra control I have over bending and just the extra control I have over the strings in general. Now, in previous videos, I have talked about guitars that you can buy that come with a scalloped fretboard. Pretty straightforward. Although there's not a lot of guitars that are like this. I mean, there's the classic Ingve Strat, and there's the Halo Claris that I reviewed a while back. But buying a guitar that has a scalloped fretboard is not the only way to have a guitar with a scalloped fretboard. And that's what I want to talk about in today's video. Recently, I had my Schecter Sun Valley Super Shredder guitar, which I absolutely love. Uh, but I had the neck on this guitar professionally scalloped. And I love the results of it. I mean, I, I thought the guitar was amazing to begin with, but now with the scallop fretboard, it's even more amazing. Now, remember, this is, you know, this is the guitar that has the sustainer electronics in here, uh, the 1500 series Floyd Rose that Schecter is doing. You know, 24 frets on a, on a uh, ebony fretboard, really nice big jumbo frets. I mean, it was already a great guitar. But now I have, you know, a great guitar with a scallop fretboard, and it's, it's awesome. Now, full disclosure, the guy that does this service, Dean Cascioni, is a buddy of mine, and he's sort of my brother from another mother in that we have a lot of very similar interests, and he is also a neoclassical guitar player, and some people even say that he kind of looks like me, or maybe it's that I look like him. Now, he has his own custom guitar company called DC Custom Guitars, but he also provides a really cool mail-order scalloping service, and that's what I used uh, you know, to get the neck on my Schecter scalloped. Now, there's two things about this that I really love. The big one is the fact that if you already have a guitar that you absolutely love, but you wish the neck was scalloped, now you can actually do that. Uh, bolt-on guitars, you know, bolt-on necks are really, really easy. You just unbolt the neck, ship it, he does the scalloping, he ships it back to you, you bolt it right back on. I mean, that's how, you know, that's how we, we did this one here. It's a very painless process. Now, if you have a guitar with a set neck or a neck through, then in that case, you know, you should have to ship the whole guitar. But again, he, he'll scallop it and then ship it back to you. Now, the other thing that I love about this is that it's actually pretty affordable. The prices vary slightly depending on the hardness of your wood. Uh, by that, I mean the type of wood that the fretboard is made out of and how hard that wood is. Uh, you know, this has an ebony fretboard, which is a little bit more expensive, but if you have like a rosewood fretboard, I mean, it's only $140 to get it scalloped. Maple's a little bit more and ebony is a little bit more than that. Now, you can have them do a full scalloping job uh, like what I got done here, or you can have the sort of Steve Vai setup where it's just the last few frets or, you know, like half the fretboard. Some people like only, you know, the 12th fret up to be scalloped and then they leave the lower frets original. But it's all really quite affordable and it's all very good quality work. Now, I know, again, this guy's a buddy of mine, but I don't have to make this video. So, uh, you know, this, this really, really is nice stuff. And I think for people who, like I said, if you have a guitar that you already really love, but you wish it had a scalloped fretboard, this is just the obvious choice. Now, Dean even sent me some photos of the progress uh, as he was working on the neck. It was really cool to see the different stages he goes through 
to get it from the rough scalloping all the way through to what is essentially a factory finish. I mean, it doesn't look like it's been modified if you didn't know to begin with that it, it wasn't originally scalloped. I mean, it looks like it came this way from the factory, really. Now, I really like scalloped fretboards. I like them more and more as I play them more, so I'm probably gonna end up having uh, some of my other guitars or some of my other necks scalloped as well. Uh, but right now, I mean, this Schecter, you know, it was already great, but it even more, it has become one of my go-to uh, shred guitars, you know, when I'm doing, uh, when I'm practicing my, my fast runs and so forth and just, you know, recording a part that's, that's a fast line or something that's really involves a lot of guitar pyrotechnics. I mean, this is such a cool guitar now, thanks to the scalloping in a big way. Okay guys, now I'm gonna put some links in the video description below if you wanna check out the scalloping service. Maybe you have like an old Ibanez RG or you know some other shred friendly guitar. Now you can even have a guitar like that scalloped and I've, I've talked to other people in the past, I've checked out other uh, scalloping services and the prices of Dean's uh, work is extremely affordable. It's in some cases the lowest I've seen and the work, I mean, I've, I've seen it for myself now. I mean, it's really, really good quality work. Now, something else you could do that might seem a little bit crazy, but it's something I personally want to try is, let's say you have a guitar, it's very common, you know, like a Fender Strat. Uh, you can get a replacement neck, right? Get a second neck, have that one scalloped, and then with a bolt-on neck, you can switch them out very easily. So you basically have the option of, okay, I want to play this guitar, but do I want to play it scalloped or non-scalloped today? And then according to however you feel, you switch out the neck. But guys, as always, I would love to hear what you think about scalloped fretboards in general. Again, I really, really enjoy them. And the more I play them, the more I want to play them. But I'd love to hear from you guys. I know some people don't like them at all. Some people love them. So what do you guys think? Also, remember, guys, I'm really trying to grow the channel right now. So if you have not already subscribed and if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing right now. Check out the video description for links and other information. Hit the thumbs up, notification bell, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.